Right, so welcome back. Today's Saturday the 17th of July and here I am back in the workshop. Uh, firstly, I've got to apologise for the massive delay between my videos. Um, I've been juggling so much over the last couple of months with trying to get this bike done. Um, the videos took a hit. Hats off to anybody that does have a successful YouTube channel. I realise now it is a lot of work to produce those videos. Uh, probably more work than it is to do the bike work sometimes. Uh, so I had to let that drop. Juggling, doing this, my own social life, working full time and travelling to work was just too much. So here's the bike at the moment. As you can see, quite a lot of pro progress has been made on the bike. Um, I have been busy over the last sort of three or four weeks working most weekends till very, very late at night to get to this stage. Uh, happy to say the bike now runs. I had a play with it last weekend after being very anxious about trying to start it. Um, and after a few little wiring issues, she fired up straight away. So let's cut to a video and we can see that. Right, so this is attempt two after I realised I unwired the coils up the wrong way around and it kept backfiring. Right. See what she says. So as you can see, there's the bike running, starts really easily off the kickstart, which is nice. Um, I was really, really happy to see it fire into life. Sounds brilliant. There's a little bit of fettling to do here and there with the carbs, etc. Uh, but I am really, really happy with how it's running. Uh, I didn't run it for too long because I've got no oil pressure light wired up at the moment, so I need to get that sorted before we give it a proper test run. Uh, other than that, I've been playing with the wiring on the bike and kind of routing it the way I want it to go. Um, I still need to tidy all of that up and get a few things like the electric start finished, uh, make sure it's all charging. Now, at this point, um, I have run out of the budget. I managed to raise just over £3,000, uh, and with the help of loads of companies donating parts, we managed to keep it to that budget. I'd initially anticipated I needed at least four to get the bike done, um, so I'm amazed I managed to get this far with the budget. So at this point, I need about 250 quid to get the bike finished, uh, and on the road, and MOT'd ready to give away for the raffle later in the summer. Uh, so I've had to start another Just Giving page for that as the old one has expired. So if you have got the time and you can afford to donate 20 quid here or there just to get us to that, not that figure to finish the bike off, that would be brilliant. Uh, getting it on the road insured and a MOT means I can take it to an unveil in August with Harley's family uh, and we'll be able to let Harley's father ride it in his honour at some point before we give the bike away and also make sure the bike's ready uh, and it's all sh shaken down for the new owner of the raffle but she really is taking shape. I am going to be really sad to see this bike go at the end of it. Um, it's going to be incredibly hard to, to give it away, but somebody is going to get an amazing bike for an amazing cause and in memory of an amazing person. So I have to say a huge thank you to everybody that's been watching these videos. Uh, a lot of people have been catching up with me over the project on social media and Instagram. Um, I've been a little bit better at posting on there. Uh, so if you do have sort of want to follow it a little bit closer, if you follow me, Jack underscore Taylor made, you'll see the ins and outs of what I get up to on the weekends. At this point my audio decided to drop out for some reason. Um, I'm just saying basically the last bit to do on the bike is the tank and the side panels. I have searched high and low for another tank to replace it uh, but couldn't find one so we are going to be rolling with the tank that came off the bike, repairing that and painting that. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks that will be done. Uh, so once that's done the bike can be put together and I can obviously finish off the wiring and then we can look at getting it hopefully on the road for the shakedown. So if you are able to donate and help us raise that last £250 that would be amazing. And again, thank you very much for watching the video and supporting the project.